In this video, we are going to use the sum to product identities to solve trigonometric equations. I have already proved the sum to product identities in a previous video, so be sure to check that out. In our example, we have sine of two theta plus sine of theta is equal to zero on the interval between zero and two pi. And we want to solve this trigonometric equation using the sum to product identities. We begin with what we already know. Recall one of our sum to product identities. We know that sine of a plus sine of b is equal to 2 sine of a plus b over 2 times cosine of a minus b over 2. So if I let 2 theta be equivalent to our a, and theta be equivalent to our b, we can rewrite the left side of the equation as 2 sine of 2 theta plus theta over 2 times cosine of 2 theta minus theta over 2. And we can set that equal to zero. Now I'm just going to simplify the left side of the equation. So this is equal to 2 sine of 3 theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2, and that's equal to zero. And now I'm just going to divide both sides by 2, so we have sine of 3 theta over 2 times cosine of theta over 2 is equal to 0. Now I'm just going to let a equal 3 theta over 2 and b equal theta over 2. So let's let big A equal 3 theta over 2 and big B equal theta over 2 then I can rewrite the left side of the equation as sine of a cosine of b is equal to zero. And since we have a product, we can say that sine of a is equal to zero and cosine of b is equal to zero. Now we want to ask ourselves, where on the unit circle does sine of a equal zero and cosine of b equal zero? Well, if we look at our unit circle, we know that we have terminal points one comma zero at the angle zero. We have terminal points zero comma one at the angle pi over two. We have terminal points negative one comma zero at the angle pi. And we have terminal points 0, comma, negative 1 at the angle 3 pi over 2. Now the bracket at 0 means that we are including the angle 0, but the parentheses at 2 pi means that we're not actually including the angle 2 pi. So we're not going to include 2 pi here. Now let us let n be an integer. So let n be an integer. We know that sine of an angle will take on the y-coordinate of the terminal points, and we know that cosine of an angle will take on the x-coordinate of the terminal points. So sine of a will equal zero when a is equal to zero and pi. So a is equal to zero plus two pi n, and a is equal to pi plus 2 pi n. And cosine of b will equal to 0 when b is equal to pi over 2 and 3 pi over 2. So b is equal to pi over 2 plus 2 pi n, 
and b is also equal to 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Now I'm going to replace a with 3 theta over 2 and b with theta over 2. So 3 theta over 2 is equal to 0 plus 2 pi n and 3 theta over 2 is equal to pi plus 2 pi n. And theta over 2 is equal to pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. And theta over 2 is also equal to 3 pi over 2 plus 2 pi n. Now I'm going to call this first equation equation 1. Here call it equation 2. And here 3 and here 4. I am going to work with equation one first. So rewriting equation one, we have that three theta over two is equal to zero plus two pi n. And if I solve for theta, we get that three theta is equal to zero plus four pi n, which means that theta is equal to four pi n over three. Now, if I let n equal zero, then we get that theta is equal to zero. And if I let n equal one, we get that theta is equal to four pi over three. And if I let n equal two, then that's going to be eight pi over three, and that's going to be too big because we have to stay within the interval between zero and two pi. So our solutions here are 0 and 4 pi over 3. Now let's look at equation 2. So for equation 2, we have that 3 theta over 2 is equal to pi plus 2 pi n. And solving for theta, we have that 3 theta is equal to 2 pi plus 4 pi n which means that theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3 times n. So if I let n equal 0, we get that theta is equal to 2 pi over 3. And if I let n equal 1, we get that theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 plus 4 pi over 3, which is equal to 6 pi over 3, which is equal to 2 pi. But we do not include 2 pi because we have a parentheses. So this is not a solution, but theta is equal to 2 pi over 3 is a solution. Now let us look at equation three. So for three, we have that theta over two is equal to pi over two plus two pi n, which means that theta is equal to pi plus four pi n. And if I let n equal zero, we get that theta is equal to pi. And if I let n equal one, clearly that's going to be too big because we will get five pi and five pi is outside of our interval. So our solution is pi. And if we look at the last equation, we see that theta over two is equal to three pi over two plus two pi n, which means that theta is equal to three pi plus four pi n. And clearly, no matter what value I plug in for n, we will get a number that is outside of our interval. So our final solutions are theta is equal to zero, four pi over three, two pi over three, and pi. And that is how you use the sum to product identities to solve trigonometric equations. Thank you for watching and always remember that you are awesome.